Hi everybody, happy Thursday. I'm going to try something new and I'm gonna make a video making a card today. I'm going to be using the Got Candy product bundle that I received from Close to My Heart yesterday. So I'm super, super excited to work with this. I've been kinda playing with the items today just to see what I can do. And today I think I'm going to try making a peekaboo card, a 3D card featuring a couple of the papers and such. So let's let's have at it, so you see what happens. But before I start, I kind of want to show you the product bundle and all the items that come in this awesome, awesome collection. We've got cardstock stickers with all kinds of Halloween motifs. We've got your pattern paper. Uh, this one is super cute with candy patterns all over it. I'm gonna use this one for the card today. And on the back of each patterned paper, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> I heard something outside, um, there are dual images. One image on the front, one image on the back. So this one is gonna have your Halloween um, stripes as well as a zip strip. And you can cut the zip strip off to use for your scrapbooking or card making projects. We've got spider web. This one's really fun. And we've got orange background with black polka dots. This one has a black background with multicolored stars. And on the back of that, we've got your jack-o-lantern pattern. And this one has a zip strip that has candy color, candy corn colors. I like this. And with every bundle, there's going to be a coordinating cardstock collection. So these papers are gonna match the pattern papers perfectly. So this this one came with black, I've got canary, I've got Sundance, I've got this really awesome shade of avocado, which is brand new this year. And then the, I believe this is um, French vanilla. Yes, French vanilla. Pardon me, it's been a long day. <laughs> so. This set also came with a set of acrylic stamps. These are super cute. You've got your Halloween images, your jack-o'-lanterns and your haunted house and your spider web, as well as these fun little things. You've got your candies. And I really wanna try using these later today. So I'm gonna give that a whirl. I've seen some really neat projects be created with these alone. Um, I've seen people make patterned backgrounds using just the stamps and it's really creative. I like it, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. But anyways, this set also came with a set of uh, loose sequins, a little baggy. They have um, jack-o'-lanterns, ghosts, little spiders, as well as your traditional sequins. So you can add these for shaker cards or you can um, just add a little bit of bling to your projects if you so wish. Very cute. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a traditional little five and a half by four and a quarter card. I'm gonna do a vertical card. I've got some things cut out, but I need to trim some others so you can journey along with me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try this peekaboo card thing. Um, I tried it last night on a project I, I made and I really liked how it turned out. So I'm gonna do this with the Halloween stuff. So with that being said, I want a strip of patterned uh, candy paper for the middle and then I want two solid colors for the top and the bottom. So for this, I want a three inch strip by four and a quarter. So I believe this one is already three and a half. Nope, it's not. So I'm gonna go three inches by four and a quarter. And I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to the middle of my card right away. I'm gonna use Tombow adhesive glue. I like this glue. This is a glue that I come back to time and time again. I've been using this glue on my projects for years now because I know that it's going to work for what I'm doing and it never lets me down unless I make a mistake, in which case it's stuck or I glue the wrong side or what have you. But this glue works really, really well. I honestly recommend this. So I'm just gonna put this in the middle, get that all situated. Perfect. Okay, all right, next I'm going to 
take some nectarine cardstock and I'm gonna cut it out to five and a half by four and a quarter, which is the length of the card. And reason being, I want it to be perfectly matched. However, I am gonna trim a little bit of the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna measure this real quick and this is five and a half. We're gonna go four and a quarter. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half right away. Exactly one half. Okay, so I've got two pieces. Now, I want this for one on the top and one on the bottom. However, I'm gonna cut out like a wave shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just fussy cut it. I don't have a die cut border that I could use for this, so I'm just gonna eyeball it and make a nice little shape. However, I'm not gonna adhere this with traditional glue. I'm gonna adhere this to the back with foam tape because I really want this to pop. I want the background image to show more than I do it be flat. So I'm gonna cut this one again. Awesome, okay. Now, I'm gonna eyeball the top and the bottom to see where the placement will go, because I definitely want more of the candy to show than I want orange on, on the background, on the top. So I think the top I'm gonna cut off about maybe a half inch. Yeah, perfect. All right, half inch coming off. Now I will save the strips. I can use these on later projects. So I don't like wasting paper. There's my bottom piece and then my top piece. Oops, excuse me, that was my top piece. Duh. <laughs> my bottom piece is gonna come down to about here. Awesome. And I most likely will cut off another half inch. And that'll work for me anyways, because I can use all of the little strips that I've cut off on different projects to make new things. I really like this set. I was so excited to get this yesterday because Halloween is one of my most favorite holidays besides Christmas and 4th of July. I've always been fond of Halloween, but it's just, it's just terrible that we are in a pandemic and it's gonna change this year. So we gotta make the best of it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use some foam tape for the backing. I really want this piece to pop up. Now, you can use any foam tape you like. You can even use pop dots if you wish. I, went, I just got this at the Dollar Tree on a whim just to try it, and I found that this works actually pretty good. So I bought quite a bit of it. <laughs> you never know. Um, this year is the first year that I've actually tried working with foam tape. I've been quite a traditionalist in my scrapbooking, keeping things nice and flat because I don't like bulk in my photo albums. But for my card projects, I really like to go all out and the foam tape allows me to add some real pop to my cards. So it makes it a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this really quick. So I'm gonna peel the backings off of the tape. Set that aside and make sure I throw it away later. And I'm going to put this one on the bottom. Make it nice and even. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same for the top. But yeah, um, they make different sizes of foam tape. They also make foam squares or foam dots. You can use whatever you feel comfortable with in your projects. Pop dots work really well for certain things, but I really like the ease of this foam tape because it's kept in a little um, spool, so that's nice. But anyways, I like making cards. I've pretty much spent most of this uh, quarantine 
at home making cards for people. It makes me happy. I like sending cards in the mail because I like spreading happiness through the mail because, come on, I like receiving cards in the mail. I don't like receiving nothing but bills and ads, and I assume everybody else feels the same way. So sending a little cheer in the mail goes a real long way, and you never know how people might be feeling, and that little extra sunshine in the mail could really make their day. I'm making this card for Eddie, my brother. I think he will really enjoy this. I'll make him happy. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see, it adds a little bit of dimension. So it's gonna be, if you can see a little close, it's popped up a little bit. So it looks a little more 3D. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I like this star shape on my stamp set. So I'm gonna add him to an acrylic block and I think I'm gonna add stars all along the borders of the wave shape. So I'm just gonna use regular black ink for this. Oops, and get my stamp all nice and juicy. Make a preliminary stamp, make sure the stamp works. And I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the side off because it's kind of a mess. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a border. Now I like that Close to My Heart adds these extra little shapes with their stamp sets because this helps fill in some blank areas or I don't know, it just adds a little extra something. And then if you add like glitter or stickles or even some color, it can really make your projects pop. It's a lot of fun. But I like using the stamps. It's definitely new to me. I've used stamps in the past. Um, back in the day, like I used some wood stamps, but they were a little more hard to use. So I'm super stoked that acrylic stamps have come so far because they are much easier to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same pattern on the bottom half. But yeah, Halloween. It's gonna be different this year. I'm kind of bummed. You know, I'm, I'm not at work right now, so I'm not able to decorate my lobby area, and we're not gonna get trick-or-treaters this year, which we never really do anyways, because we live in such a rural area, and it's dark. It's not really safe for anyone to be walking these hills at night, so. I'm thinking we're just gonna go up and spend some time with my niece and my nephew and have fun with them. That'll be a great time. It's funny, like I remember like when I first moved here, like I would go all out for Halloween and I'd buy so much candy and nobody would come and I would be left with all this candy. Oh my goodness. And then of course, ironically, the next year I wouldn't buy the candy and the kids would show up. So one year I actually felt so bad that these little kids came up the hill that I had to give them something. So I gave them fiber one bars. <laughs> they were not happy. <laughs> I felt so bad, but <laughs> it worked. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, Sundance paper for a pumpkin. I really like this jack-o'-lantern, so I'm going to incorporate him into my project. So I'm going to put him on my acrylic block, and I'm going to use intense black ink with this one. The reason being, this ink, when used with watercolor or markers or any sort of coloring agent, it will not bleed into what you're working on. That's awesome. So I'm going to have fun with this guy. So I'm gonna get him nice and juicy. And before I forget, I'm gonna use this foam sheet that comes with all the stamps that we have I'm gonna put him behind my paper to give a little bit of sponge underneath my paper. So when I'm using my impression, putting my impression on the paper, it's a more even distribution of ink. Press firmly and voila. 
I'm gonna clean him off and make sure I put him away. I am notorious for setting my stamps aside without cleaning them and putting them away, and then I either misplace them, I lose them, they're stuck to my elbows. Oh, <laughs> so save myself the trouble later. Okay, this set did not come with thin cuts, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my scissors to fussy cut him out. And I like to cut as close to the image as possible while leaving a little border around whatever image that I've stamped. I think that adds just a little extra dimension and pop. It's fun. So I'm curious, what are you all doing for Halloween this year? Do you guys decorate your house? Do you do extra special games with your family? I mean, I know this year is gonna be a lot different than years in the past, so I'm curious to see all the fun that people are going to come up with this year because this is definitely not your traditional Halloween. I work for a nonprofit organization that employs adults with disabilities and we have a Halloween party every year and we've been closed since March and I don't know if we're going to be able to have our Halloween party this year with all the guidelines so we just gotta wait and see what happens and hopefully we'll open soon and all of my people can come back because the holidays sure aren't the same without them, that's for sure. They really put fun into those days. Okay, all right, there is that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and color him in. Now I don't have much to color because I, co I stamped this on a colored cardstock, but I did that on purpose. I didn't wanna to have to color the whole image and I like this shade of um, yellow, golden yellow. So um, it's gonna make his eyes pop. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use orange and brown for the surrounding areas. So I like to use these water-based um, markers from Tombow. I recently started using these and I love them. They have done such wonders for my projects. They are dual tipped. One is a more of a brush tip and the other side is more of just a regular round pen tip. But I like using the brush. So go ahead and color this guy in. Now if you guys have any questions on this project please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below or hit me up in Messenger. I'd be happy to help you out, um, answer any of your questions. This is a wonderful bundle. I hope that you will see this and it will encourage you to grab it before it's gone. I think y'all can make some really great projects with this, cards and maybe even little um, note cards to add to gift bags for Halloween. Maybe you're not going trick-or-treating and maybe you're having a family gathering. Maybe you want to make some little decorations for your treats or your treat bags. I think some of these items would really, really help you with that. Now I'm gonna be using this kit quite a bit in the next week or so, but I also have a couple of other kits I'm gonna be working with too, so I'm gonna be ping-ponging back and forth through projects, which is fun. And I never plan anything out before I do it. I always, always, always just run with something. I'll look at all my items around me and just, just have a good time. Now, if I find that I make a project that I really like and it's, it's something I can easily duplicate, I will because then that gives people more of an opportunity to have something that I've made. And since I will most likely be sending a lot of these Halloween cards out that I'm making, it's easy to come up with a template. It's much easier, I should say, to come up with a template and just run with it. But then there's those occasions where I just maybe wanna make one special card for somebody and I'll just make that one unique. Now, since this is a flat image, I'm going to add a little dimension in the eyes and I will use a blending pen to give it a 3D look. 
I like this jack-o'-lantern. It totally reminds me of those old cardboard cutouts from when I was a kid. Those retro looking <laughs> wall uh, images. Those were fun. So, okay, this is a uh, blending pen. There's no color in it whatsoever. There's just a clear tip. And again, it's a dual tip so you can have the blunt one as well, but you can use this to blend your colors together not make it such a harsh line. Awesome. Okie dokie. Now for the stock, I'm gonna use this tan color. It's not dark brown. It's more of a, a burnt sienna, which is nice. Okay. Awesome. My little pumpkin friend is done. Okay, for him, I'm not going to use foam tape. I'm going to go ahead and use adhesive dots. It'll still give my image pop, but not the, the drama of the foam tape because, again, the card already has the drama of the 3D look. So I use, I like to use these double sided adhesive hot dots from Tombow. I actually bought these for my wedding a couple years ago for my photo book and I really like them and they're multicolored so they're easy to see but it's not like anybody's gonna lift up the little image and be like hey her her glue dots don't match <laughs> but they really help me that's for sure There we go, super easy peasy. It's a warm day in Vista today. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get in, in the spirit of the different seasons when living in Southern California because our weather is usually very, very warm. And being, we're still in the 80s, it's kind of hard to get into the fall mentality while everybody else is getting their weather changes, it's still pretty warm here. Still running our air conditioning in the bedroom. But I really look forward to the season change and usually that happens uh, around October. So we shall see. I hope you all are having a good day today. What are you up to? How are you spending your day? Are you making anything creative? I know some of you guys out there have really been working hard on making cards and scrapbook pages and I've really enjoyed seeing the stuff that you're making. It really inspires me to stay creative and stay working. It really helps and it also helps to have such great feedback and you know, just, just helps. It really means a lot when somebody likes your work or something that you're doing, so. Okay, um, my little pumpkin friend is all ready to rock and roll, so I'm just gonna adhere him to my card. I'm gonna put him here off to the left side of my card with a little bit of the top of the pumpkin sticking out. So I shall stick him right about here. So he's gonna look like that, but he's still not all the way flat. There's a little bit of dimension, super cute. Now, my card needs a sentiment. So I was looking at the wording on my stamp set and I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with trick or treat. I like how that goes well with the candy motif. So I'm gonna use this little one, put it on my stamp block. And for this, I'm just gonna use regular black ink. Make him nice, nice and saturated make sure there's no ink on the edges of the block lay my card down and even it out press firmly to get a nice solid image and that is that now I didn't put the foam paper behind this because of the foam tape this adds a little bit of extra sponginess to my stamp so it helped the the ink go really well oh if you're wondering this is a stamp chamois I use this to clean off my stamps when I'm finished using them it's a great product 
This is from Close to My Heart as well. It's just like a regular chamois. You get it wet, keep it nice and moist, and it helps keep your stamps nice and clean. And you always want to close your ink when you're done. <laughs> I've been known to have inky elbows from forgetting to put the lids on and rubbing my elbows across, but it's all in good fun. It's creative. It's, it's just stuff that happens when you're an artist. You know, I've never met a tidy artist. And if you have, please, please share who that is because I'm interested to know. <laughs> So anyways, um, that is my card for today. This is super cute. I like this. I'm going to send this to my brother. I think he's really going to like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the card up by adding a simple sentiment on the inside. And then I'm going to sign the back of my card as I do with all of my cards. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Find something creative to do. Get outside with your kids. Walk your dogs. Enjoy it. And for those of you who are in areas where the smoke is really bad from the fires, oh my goodness, I, I pray for you and I hope that everything calms down soon because it's just heartbreaking to see what's, what's happening. It's just terrible. And with the hurricanes on the East Coast, oh my gosh, this year, it just can't get any crazier. So anyways, I just implore you all to have faith and just give out good vibes and just Stay true to who you are and do what makes you happy in the meantime. And with that being said, I'm going to keep making cards. So keep tuning in and I will bring you some more projects. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. If you have any comments or any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Bye.